Get out, get out. I hate Enjoy you. your time. Get out of here. Leave. Now. Thank you. Um, um, we said to clear, we just to clear the air for a bit. Okay. What is up, YouTube? My name is Astro. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry. What's up, YouTube? My name is Astro Johnson. This is why the JP Mason Station. Welcome back to my channel. So this is what you guys been waiting for. Another Goku tutorial video. I finally got around to it. So guess what? Today we're gonna be making Goku's four arms. Well, basically his four arm templates. Because, like, I modified the arms, but I still messed up on the elbows. So I'm just going to modify them again. I'm probably going to make these arms three times so I get it right. But we're we going to get it right. We don't give up on this child. The elbow, okay, so, like, I kind of drew out the, 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 the mechanism for the knees. So the elbow was supposed to serve as a locker block, but it, it, it don't work. Because, okay, on one of them, that I was mad. Because on one of them, it worked. But on the other arm, it did not work. So we're gonna have to do it again. We're just gonna have to change the shape and make it a little thicker where it can hold the arms in place because the arms are also loose. But I don't I don't really wanna make because that's not a problem. We just need something to lock them in place. So that's all. But other than that, I'm gonna focus on. So I've already recorded the footage for his arm tutorial. So this is basically what the arms gonna look like. And I think they look pretty decent. They look pretty nice. I like them. Um and, and the whole point of this double jump mechanism is just so the arm instead of the arm only being able to do that. Is able to do this, like it goes all the way up, you know what I'm saying? So, we're able to do that. Then, the point of this lock block mechanism was also to serve as a but it was also able to serve, it also supposed to serve as a um, a shape for the elbow. So, you see, when you put this there, it kind of looks like a um, it kind of has that triangular shape, like the elbow when you put that there. See, it worked on one of them, but it just didn't work on the other one. So, all we got to do, I was gonna re we don't need to remake the arms, all we need to do is just make something thick enough where it can. So it can stop the arms from going inside of these pegs right there. That's all. Um, I know I look retarded as hell because I don't know how to look into the camera because I keep thinking the camera's over here, but it's really over here. And y'all probably sitting there like, what the hell is this nigga looking at? So, uh, my bad. And I was still doing it while I was explaining it. That's crazy. But like, it's really trial and error. Like, when you try stuff new, like, I'm not finna really be doing the same sculpts over and over now. I'm gonna be trying to give figures their own aesthetic and their own, like, personality within figure-wise. So you're gonna see a lot of new sculpts. Like, this is Naruto. He doesn't... I wanted to give him the double drums because I really thought of that so they could do, like, the Shadow Claw and Jutsu. So instead of their hands being like this, they could do it like this, you know what I'm saying? But he don't have that, so he still got the, like, okay, this way. He still got this. He can't bend farther than... Naruto cannot bend farther than this. He can't bend farther than this. So, yeah. So, Goku has a whole different scope other than Naruto. So, Goku is way more, he way more flexible. He can do a lot more stuff than he can. This is the basic, this is the starter scope. So, starter frame. Right, guys, I know you want the figure to be done, but man, you're going to have to like, if you don't want to mess up, like if you know it's something you struggle on, like for instance, this is something I ain't never did for, you're going to have to make prototypes. What a prototype is, you testing your theory out. So, basically, if I want to see if this double drum works, I'm going to make an all white one, not color, but not nothing, just do what I'm trying to do in a prototype form. Like, for inside of this, I ain't know what size I wanted it to be. So, this is basically a prototype of what size of the inside was going to be of the um, joint. So, it could be the same size when I stick the fingers in. So, it's the prototype. You got to make prototypes. If you don't make prototypes, you're going to end up having to remake some a lot of stuff you didn't have to remake. Because all you had to do was just make a prototype. Make a prototype. It's your best friend. Prototype. All right, so without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Now, let's the intro. Fun fact. Oh, yeah, fun fact. The reason why I keep stressing modify, if you're trying to make the actual, not, not, not his muscles and things, if you're trying to make his actual um arm frame, like the frame that does all this, you're gonna need to go watch my last, my most recent Goku tutorial where I made his arms. Because I did not record myself remaking these arm frames. All I did, it's the same thing. All I did, if you wanna remake them, I can tell you, I can pretty much tell you. All I did was just make the um, what do I call it? The thing that keeps the joints together, I just made it way more thinner. So so the pet roller pet, I made it a little bit more thinner. So that's all I did. The the I don't know what you call these, the the the, the cylinders that's inside here. Okay, so the cylinders inside here, they're the same size, everything the same size. Just make the thing you wrap around the cylinders a little bit more thinner. Just make it a little bit more thinner. I didn't say make it too thin, a little bit more thinner. Like, <clears throat> I took a ruler, and whatever I measured it by, I used two lines in between. Then you're gonna need to measure. If you don't know how to measure, learn how to measure. So, um, between, let's see. 
I don't even, you don't even need to know how to measure. Just use the lines, and like, you just gotta remember what lines you use. For real, for real, like once you get the uh, measuring of golf, just use the, uh, remember the lines you use. But yeah, if you're trying to figure out how to make this entire frame, it's not in this video, it's in my other video. This video shows you how to make the muscles and stuff that's on the frame, and a few other stuff, but yeah. So first of all, you're going to need to remove Goku's arm frames. Then you're going to need two templates like these. These templates would be going up here on the upper arm. You're going to need this one, this one, this one, and this one. So now that that's done, let's start taping them together.
Okay, guys, so this has been pretty much on how to make Son Goku's arms or his arm muscles because his arm frame was already done. So, like I said, these are just tweaks. The arm was pretty much already made. Would you believe the whole time I ain't made, been making tutorials? I've been trying to figure out ways, like, how the arm could work because I was going to run into problems. So, look, here's a fun fact for you. When you don't know how to do something, don't try to make it. Don't try to make it off the bat. Sit down and think. Like, when I be at work and I don't have nothing to do and I don't feel like watching stuff, I just sit down, brainstorm, and be like, how can I do this? How can I do that? Like, how would this work? That's how I be coming up with these different different little mechanisms. Stuff. I be like, how would this work? Oh, I wanted to curse right there. Like, I caught myself. <laughs> like, how did this work? Uh, how did that kind of stuff work? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff that you struggle on, just think about it. You gonna come up with stuff. You just gotta think about it. Like, 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 use your brain. But yeah, this is pretty much how you make Goku's arms. So, as you guys know, I didn't do a montage. I always do montage. But the montage is like the little, like when I show the figure at the end of the um, video. Like the video. I did not do a montage. The reason why I didn't do the montage, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not real set up his arms right now. This is how they supposed to look, but I don't want to do the montage until I get his lock block correct. So when I get his lock block correct, because that's a major part of the arm, so that's why I don't want to do the montage right now. So I'm not really going to record myself. Let me know in the comments if you want me to record myself do the tweak to his arm. Just let me know, because I really want to move on to another figure. Like, I want to do Vegeta, Ichigo, Spider-Man, Luffy. I thought I'd do Vegeta, I want to do Spider-Man, but I want to have a perfect Goku. I want to have a perfect Goku. I'm tired of making new figures, and then they just look better because I have dead on some parts on Goku. I thought it's, I thought his legs. This is gonna be hard. These arms were hard. These arms are hard. Like they made me re-question. This is gonna be the default joint frame, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna give it to people who really need it. Okay, Cause this, this right here is some work. I know y'all know it's some work. So my name is Charles Johnson. This has been Wild J Fan. Make sure stay tuned. Till next time.